Now, we know lemons are great, and for many of us, coffee is pretty darn great too. But what about lemon in coffee? That's right, some people are actually putting lemon, lemon juice in their coffee in hopes of gaining some benefits. Now, I don't know if you guys have heard about this, but many of people are, are sort of jumping on this lemon and coffee craze in hopes of losing weight, burning fat, speeding up metabolism, suppressing appetite, all that stuff. Um, but the question is, does it do that? Also, does it flush away toxins? Now, you guys might have heard of like the lemon and water sort of craze. I've done videos on that, lemon and water. People say the same things about lemon and water, that it, um, you know, kind of boosts the metabolism, burns fat, appetite suppressant, uh, that it gets rid of toxins. Um, and I've talked about that. I'm not going to spoil it. So uh, check out that video if you want to take a look at my thoughts on that. But let's talk about specifically lemon in coffee. Does lemon and coffee do those things? Uh, guys, I'm Dr. Jen Caudill, practicing family physician, on-air health expert, and video creator. Um, first of all, lemons are amazing things. I love eating lemon. Um, I don't eat it plain, right, because it'd be too sour. Um, but I put lemon in a lot of things. My tea, uh, I drink lemon water. I put lemon, obviously, with cooking and things like that. Who doesn't? Lemon is awesome. But the bigger question is, does lemon inherently have uh, properties that will allow us to have a suppressed appetite, burn fat, calories, lose weight, uh, even detox? That's really the question at hand, uh, which is why a lot of people are using this in their coffee, in their water. Well, the truth of the matter is, guys, uh, and I'm, I hate to, to break it to you, but the truth is that no, lemon does not have these inherent qualities. Lemon alone, whether it's in your coffee or in water, is not going to detoxify you. By the way, as I've always said, we have plenty of organs that help us do that. Our liver, our lungs, our GI tract, our kidneys, etc. Um, but it's also not going to burn fat. It's also not going to burn calories. Gosh, I wish it did. Lord Jesus, wouldn't it be amazing if it did? Uh, it's also, and, and uh, so let me talk about the appetite suppressant thing. Now, look, um, I was literally just talking to a friend of mine about this topic saying, I'm, I'm going to shoot a video on this topic. And they're like, oh, but doesn't lemon water or lemon and coffee, doesn't it suppress your appetite? Well, guys, the thing is, if you drink enough of anything, it's not necessarily the lemon, right? But if you drink enough coffee or water or whatever, it's probably going to make you feel full. And you may not want to eat. Uh, so in that way, yes, it might serve as an appetite suppressant as it's part of a liquid that you're drinking. By the way, it is possible to drink too many liquids and actually have health problems as a result of it. Too much water, by the way, drinking too much water can actually uh, be potentially dangerous, even deadly. So do not overdo it with the fluids, by the way. Uh, but yeah, if you're, you know, filling up with fluids instead of food or something, yeah, it could make you feel like you don't have an appetite, but that's not because of the lemon. It's just because you're filling up your belly with a substance, right? Um, will lemon and whatever you're drinking help you stay hydrated? Well, the answer is yes, it will. Lemon and water does. You probably say, well, coffee is probably not going to keep you hydrated. You're right. Coffee has caffeine. It can be a diuretic. It's probably going to have more dehydrating properties. Uh, but remember, even coffee is going to have some water in it. Um, so, but no, don't rely on your coffee for hydration. But the point being is that, yes, if you put lemon in substances, um, there will probably be a little bit of hydration aspect if it's not drowned out by the dehydration aspect of the substance you're drinking. Does that make sense? Anyway, point being is you can put lemon in your coffee if you want, if you like the taste, if you just want to do it, but don't count on this to, uh, reduce your weight, to suppress your appetite to burn the fat, burn calories, and to detoxify. Um, a healthy diet, exercise, uh, you know, watching what you eat, eating a healthy life, that's the best way to burn fat and calories, etc. And also when it comes to detoxifying, remember eating a healthy diet is very important for that. But good thing, we have lots of organs to help us do that on its own. So hope this is helpful. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Let me know if this is a surprise to you or not, lemon and coffee, etc. I'm Dr. Jen Caudill, practicing family physician, on-air health expert and video creator please subscribe to my channel, click the little bell for updates. And also guys, check out my website, drjencaudle.com for uh, lots of health updates, my free health newsletter, and all sorts of other offerings. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen. I'll see you soon.